Let's take a closer look at the federal government's expenditures. Our expenditures can be divided into three key areas, transfer payments, program expenses, and interest on our national debt. Payments that go directly to persons, provinces, and territorial governments, and other organizations are called transfers. These transfer payments make up about 60% of this year's budget. Transfers can be organized into three groups. Transfers to persons, who make up 25% of the budget, is the largest category and includes elderly benefits, like the Guaranteed Income Supplement, which helps seniors living on lower incomes, employment insurance benefits, which help Canadians who are looking for work, children's benefits, which help families with young children. The next set of transfers is to provincial and territorial governments. These make up about 20% of the budget and include the Canada Health Transfer, which provides long-term funding for health programs, the Canada Social Transfer, which supports post-secondary education, social programs, and services for children, equalization programs, which address economic disparities between provinces, the final group of transfers, other transfers, covers spending on federal grants, contributions, and subsidies. This includes groups like farmers and food producers, foreign aid, and infrastructure. Our next spending area is program expenses and includes the operating costs of the more than 130 federal bodies that provide programs and services for Canadians. These include government departments, agencies, crown corporations, like the CBC and Canada Post. The three departments where we spend the most are National Defense, Public Safety, and the Canada Revenue Agency. The final spending area is interest on the debt. We pay interest charges on the money borrowed by the federal government over the years and not yet repaid. This year, our interest payment will be about $30 billion. Now that you have learned where we spend our money, you'll find out where we get it from.